This game's PC port. I hope you're not playing it on Windows 10. Jimmy's mom is supposedly very rich, considering she got married five times. Yet she abandons her son for an entire year, and all she gives him is fifty dollars. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? Yeah, where did you come from? The gates are closed. Speaking of gates, who or what controls them? Where did Miss Danvers go? Developer narcissism. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. What makes Dr. Crabblesnitch think that Jimmy can be fixed? Especially since he has... Done a lot of naughty things. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. Nice foreshadowing. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school. And get him properly attired. And she doesn't even show us around the school. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? I don't know. I thought it was your job to show me where I can go and get it. Run along now, child. Where? I have no idea where to go. I just got here. Hey, Bro! you! Break it up! Patrick X Machina. Also, of course he would show up after the fight. You should probably change changing to your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Gary is doing a better job than Miss Danvers. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. You can just look at Gary and the way he acts and you can immediately tell he's going to be the antagonist. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. How do you know that? You weren't there when Russell attacked me. Oh man, there's that weird chick Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. <laughs> Go, see what she wants. I thought you wanted to bully her. Over there we got the nerd. And those are the preps. Now over there are the greaser. And last but not least, the jocks. This game takes the meaning of stereotypes to whole new levels. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not- <laughs> Dr. Cramblesnitch literally disappears and can't notice that Davis just shot Jimmy with a slingshot. How is Davis so fast? <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. So what exactly is Gary doing? He's angering Jimmy and then just tries to make him calm down? Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. That's just creepy. I'll pay! <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks! Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. Jimmy, you're a greedy motherfucker. Get out of here, you little scum! Where did that hobo come from? The camera showed us the entire place and he's still nowhere to be seen. Just get me a part for my radio and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Minus one sin for that sick burn. Ah, swim team! Intellectual stuff. What is Pete watching? The TV just displays some low quality images. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Yeah, no way two 15-year-olds can somehow corrupt the school and control it. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes, it's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry, and I'll never get into med school. Now, I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? She just told you she'll find a cure for cancer. Idiot. I'm the most suitable candidate I know! <laughs> yeah, so's your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> We're inside the school and nobody notices Ernest getting bullied by these guys. These prefects have one job to do. Oh, I have money! I can pay you! Good. I've always been a politician at heart. Game jokes about corrupted real-life government. Minus one sin. And the award for the most boring mission in the game goes to... No prefects and Halloween and kids equals shit's about to get crazy. He took it and he locked it in his desk. And he says he's going to give it to the principal tomorrow. Why would the principal care to read someone's diary? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me. Gary proceeds to send somebody else to fight instead of fighting Jimmy himself. There is no way that no one from the school staff knows what's going on in the basement, especially right now. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. Okay, if he somehow found out that Jimmy fought Russell, then he must also know about the hole in the basement. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Paul Gord basically gets ignored by Jimmy, and all he wanted was a friend to box with. Well... I'm a kind and supportive colleague. 
Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Patrick says he's a kind and supportive colleague, making it feel like he wants to help Galloway, only to say he's going to get him fired. What a bastard. She will know what to do. Wow, really? It looks like Patrick and Galloway are at it again. You! What are you doing? That's disgusting! Okay, first, I didn't pick the bottle yet, and second, how is holding a bottle of wine disgusting? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again! Okay. <laughs> Has no one ever complained about the food here? These poor kids are basically getting fed expired food and cats. Why did Galloway hide these bottles in weird locations? Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. What's Ms. Phillips doing here? How would she know we're doing this favor for Galloway right now? All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, then you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheep. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. That's some funny stuff right there. You never get to kick Troy in the balls. Lame. Hmm. Nice tea pose, Jimmy. Hey look, this beach house has no doors. Okay, seriously, we're in front of a store. Where is everyone? And why don't they notice this guy being held up by Russell? Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If you wanted a revenge thing, now would be a An adult person inciting a young person to egg somebody's house. Come on, hero. I like that you can actually see some of the students before starting the mission. Nice detail, Rockstar. Minus one sin. Sequel the movie, because coming up with something original was too hard. If there's one thing that needs a sequel, it's this damn game. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy. What's in it for me? Notice how Jimmy was staring at Pinky's boobs while saying that. This was so exciting. I love when the carnival comes to town. Thanks for screaming like that. Oh well, we only have two ears anyway. Oh, cool! Thanks, Jimmy. It's so cute. Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. Well, looks like I won't be needing the other ear now. Holy shit, Pete is faster than Sonic. Yeah, you want to get a C785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Minus one scene because this scene became a meme. Evening, sir. Yo, boy! What do you think you're doing? Wow, who's that? It definitely doesn't look like any gym teacher we know. Everyone sees Jimmy, but no one's going to report this. You sure alright, bud? Why is Biff allowing Jimmy to enter? Sure, he's dressed like a prep, but does he even recognize him? You wouldn't let strangers enter your house just because they share the same interests in clothing. I said he need your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? What a way to be friendly, Jimmy. Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. Now this is how you teach students, minus another sin. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with, and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, oh, the treacherous Machiavell, I love it! Removing yet another sin because he agrees to Jimmy's plan. We're at chapter 3 and the game is still teaching us things. Worst part is, this feature is useless. It's true! Love is blind! I sure hope so. Jimmy would be excellent at gaming sins. Where's the perfume? Right here. <coughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I... Is no one going to notice Jimmy's on this tree? Come on, gorgeous! It's about time I show you what I know about chemistry, <laughs> and a little biology. Pushing that tea right into the limits, eh, Rockstar? I mean, I'll happily have kids laugh at me, or have cold men ask me to do bizarre things to them, but I will not have this! Pushing that tea right into the limits yet again. <laughs> Jimmy basically crushed the dreams of every child here by destroying the castle. This mission might be worse than the candidate. Hey look, it's the hobo of a Santa Claus costume. Oh, yeah, right, Santa Claus. How could I forget? We met a few times when you crept into my bedroom when I was asleep as a kid. Imagine your hero, Santa Claus, creeping into your bedroom when you're a kid. Shouldn't that shit traumatize you? Also, plus two sins because Simon Bestia put crapping instead of creeping. You're right, man. How could I forget a fine role model like you? Jimmy would be excellent at gaming sins. Oh, come on, man. With your whiskey breath and your weird manner? 
You just scream Christmas spirit to me. Minus another sin for Jimmy's sarcasm. What's up with their legs? I haven't seen this much dough since my days at the track. That must mean you're always lost. I mean, look, you've got nothing in your hand. I know. You're the king. But my queen is a slut, and now everybody's laughing at me! Seriously, Johnny, just find another girl. And this mission is the reason why Chapter 3 can't immediately end. Because at this point, Johnny already respects Jimmy, and if it weren't for these guys bitching about Gord getting in trouble, we'd all be friends. That's because Gord was showing one of their girlfriends a good time. See, even Jimmy gets it. Cornelius, you know, the scrawny kid in the acting club? He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. Get it? Because Cornelius is gay. Tad likes Lola, Gord likes Lola, Chad likes Lola, Algie likes Lola. Seriously, what's so damn special about her? Also, if I have to keep saying somebody likes Lola one more time, I'm probably going to end up ripping my tongue out. Boys can get really jealous when they find out you've been kissing another boy. Jimmy would be excellent at gaming sins. It wasn't like that. I'm not like that. Oh, sure. Sure it wasn't. Love is complicated. That didn't seem complicated between you and that Gordo kid. I'm gonna kill him! Johnny! For fuck's sake, just break up with her already. The thing is, Pete, now that I'm cool, I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. What? Sad thing is, this actually happens in real life. Go have some fun in the communal showers. Ooh, I just dropped my soap. Please pick it up for me. We get it. You're pushing that T right into the limit. Just make it M for fuck's sake. I may be a loser, but at least I've got loser friends to hang out with. This is actually a really good point. Minus one, sin. We wouldn't let you into our gang, Pete, because you're weird. What a lame thing to say after a good point from before. Yeah, think of everything I've done for you since I got here. Jimmy makes a fantastic point. Algy is a dick. When did they have the time to prepare all of this? Were they expecting Jimmy? Why? Yeah, I don't think Ernest should have gotten up after falling like that. It's a shame you only get to visit this interior once. It's not easy being the boss. Man, this better be good. You could have just asked Ernest what the plan was. We all know what he's going to do with those pictures. Considering the football field is on the right, and is the fastest way to come here, why are the jocks coming from the left? Um, Just go fix the defense system and I'll take care of the goons. Come on. No way can anybody repair that thing. How the hell did he build it in the first place? I mean, sure I've been a bitch at times, been nasty, but I don't deserve this. My life is over. Ah, damn it. Now this game is making me feeling pretty bad for a mean girl. Did you forget what she did to Beatrice in chapter one? Then again, some people want to forgive somebody for shoving a dead body in a video. Why has no prefect removed these posters? I think I have finally caught the essence of what it means to be a banana. I... Damn, that is the best painting I've seen in my entire life. Truly worthy of Da Vinci. Okay, Peanut likes Ms. Phillips, but he has no reason to be here right now. Pervert. Really? We don't get to escape? We just cut to the end? Okay then. And thank you for leaving me here. Really. On the Wii and PS2 versions, Jimmy walks near Konstantinos. On the PC, he says, out the camera. Good port, Rockstar. Damon and Kirby are near the soda. We send them away. And then they're back. Because of the great port, you have to keep playing with the fear the game could crash at any point during this mission. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Don't ask your best friends to be something else, guys. So, where's Johnny during this mission? Is he already in the asylum? Why is nobody noticing his absence? No one will care about the graffiti after this mission. They won't even bother to remove it. They reused Miss Danvers' voice here, thinking we wouldn't notice. Whoops. At least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us. <laughs> Where the fuck did that rat come from? The doors are closed. I don't believe oh. this! Oh no! So, why is Jimmy just ignoring the gym burning right next to him? Yeah, well, I called the police! You'll be killed for this, my boy! There's no proof that shows Jimmy setting the gym on fire. You can't arrest somebody without proof. So, who is this guy? Where is he the entire game? What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. We are now best friends. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously, why did she get expelled? Has no other girl complained about Mr. Burton? Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. 
There are no consequences if somebody actually sees you during this mission. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? Just show him the picture. You want to have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? Not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. Is that even legal? Damn, they're locked. <laughs> yeah, no, Russell should be dead. Reusing Russell and the Holes music, thinking we wouldn't notice. Whoops. Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like meat. Why haven't the police arrested Russell yet? How did they manage to lose us? We were literally right in front of you. One question. How are we going to stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. That's racist, but it's right. And for it, this whole time, the prefects are on vacation. Weapons are for prefects only. You worrying about me carrying the slingshot? Did you not realize what's going on outside? Special delivery! Gary is literally trying to kill you during this part. How the fuck does he expect to be respected from the principal if he kills somebody? <laughs> There's no way they can get up and even fight. Underwhelming boss fight, which is extremely disappointing, considering that this is the end of the game. Why is Jimmy fine, and why is Gary passed out? Conveniently, Crabble Snitch wasn't even damaged by any of the pieces of glass. Smith! I heard the whole thing! How did you hear the whole thing? Great idea! Now about that letter to my mother... Why do you think he was about to send a letter to your mum? Crabble Snitch said that he contacted your mum several times without specifying how. Has he never heard of a telephone? Finally, everything is sorted out. More the school was in chaos five minutes ago while now everyone is cheering Jimmy. When did Zoe have time to change? Why is it already stopped raining? Is this just another day? Then why isn't Jimmy in his uniform?